Okay, um, this is the Sweeney Todd chair, um, a version I made for uh, our my theater company's upcoming musical. Uh, basically, what I did was I built this from scratch. I didn't uh, spend the time looking for a chair to uh, chop up. You can do that though. But uh, what we did was uh, basically we built this whole thing out of two by four and some four by four. Um, and had some uh, decorative parts to it, but how we built it was, um, we just got some two by four, made a basic chair frame, uh, 21 inches, uh, no, 21 inches by uh, 26 inches was the base of the chair. Um, underneath the chair, it's it's on three wheels. Uh, this is what uh, allows the uh, the uh, support of the chair right here. The actor, when they sit down on it, it supports the weight right here, and. Um, when you uh, release the motor, which I'll go talk about in a second, um, the chair will slide down into this position like that. So um, that's for them to slide off into your trapdoor if you make a trapdoor for your set. Uh, for the cushions, what we just did here was uh, I took some normal uh, pillows, took some plywood on the back, um, measured it out to be equal to this chair, and uh, just reupholstered it and put some uh, frill on it to make it look a little nicer. Um, to get the color, we uh, took some uh, black paint with a t-shirt and we just rubbed it down uh, in a black layer then took a, a t-shirt got some red paint uh, wiped it down did that a few times then we got some uh, dark cherry uh, spray paint went over it and then rubbed again to get the uh, aged effect on it um, back here for the motor what we did we have uh, two six volt batteries hooked up in a circuit uh, that run to our switches right here. We have uh, two toggle switches right here, um, and then down here we have a foot pedal switch uh, right there. So the way this works is we got a 12 volt motor right here. Uh, this is the motor, it has a gearbox, which then, after all that work, comes down in here to a worm gear. Um, the worm gear will cost you a pretty penny. These two right here, the worm gear and the worm, cost about $130. Um, and you have to get these ordered from, we got them from Motion Industries. Uh, you have to look around town for it. They won't sell them any place like Home Depot. Uh, I, I recommend going to uh, um, some sort of a liquidator store, industrial liquidators, uh, to look for a motor that you can uh, hook up. So that's the hard part, is finding a motor in the gears. So what happens is, you get your battery, hook it up in your circuit, you switch this to dump, um, then you'll activate the foot pedal. Um, this actually is not 100% completed yet. I have to recut this today. Um, we went to Home Depot and bought uh, some piping. Um, I don't have the full piece to show you, but uh, we took a, a miter saw and uh, with a metal cutting blade we just cut out these uh, slits in it uh, so that this will act like a track that will rest in here like that um, and when you get your motor switched on you push down that goes into the dump mechanism which will slide this up which will uh, we'll put a piece of wood down here and a hook and that will push this up and then it will pull it back down uh, with the hook on it and then to reverse it you get both your worm switches and your toggle switches and you push down again on the pedal which reverses the whole motion. Uh, if you hook this circuit up like we did which uh, goes from the battery up into the switch back down into the, uh, the toggle switch into your motor back uh, through to the switches again into the battery you need to make sure that your switches are always the same way or you'll short circuit your motor or overload your batteries which are both are bad. So um if you have any more questions, you can email me. Uh, I know the video last night was a little dark, so um, I reshot this one. Uh, and uh, ask me questions, and I'll try to get you an answer.